Boom. Now, the 1800s, <laughs> new century. In the year 1800, the U.S. capital changes again from Philadelphia to Washington, D.C. These people need to today. make up their minds. <laughs> or what it is today. Um, this solidified the seat of power. In the year 1803, the Supreme Court case Marbury v. Madison established the principle of judicial review, giving the Supreme Court the power to dec- declare, to declare... Declare. You got this. Laws. <laughs> Unconstitutional. Also in 1803, the U.S. began the Lewis and Clark Expedition, which conducted valuable bo- botanical and zoological specimens. Um, again, 1803, the Louisiana Purchase doubled the size of the U.S. Also in 1803, the Louisiana Purchase doubled the size of the U.S. 1804, the 12th Amendment was ratified, ensuring separate ballots for each office. In 1807, the New York Academy of Fine Arts was founded. It played a role in fostering development of American art and provided a platform for the amazing artists of the time. Also in that year, the Embargo Act was passed. Um, This prohibited American ships from trading with foreign nations in response with Britain and France. Also in 1808, the international slave trade is abolished. Important step towards the end of slavery. In 1809, the first issue of the North Star was published, the abolitionist newspaper founded by Frederick Douglass. This became a powerful voice in the fight against slavery in the U.S. Also, James Madison became the fourth president of the U.S. in this year. And then for our presidents, it was James Madison and Thomas Jefferson.